What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here with your second stimulus check update. And remember how I've told you in the past that, you know, these politicians, they pretty much just change their mind on a whim and any 24 hours that goes by, they can literally change their mind and all of a sudden, boom, it's something completely different. Well, we're starting to see Mitch McConnell change his mind, actually in a somewhat good way. And will we catch Nancy Pelosi changing her mind to actually make a deal before the election because it may be in her best interest to do it now before the election? I'm going to give you all the details in this video. But first, give this video a like down below. It really helps out our channel. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and join our family. We just crossed 250,000 subscribers. We're almost at 35 million views on this channel. Thank you, guys. You guys are so amazing. Thanks for joining our, what we call our extended family. It's like a, it's like a bunch of cousins and aunts and aunts and uncles. And we're all just hoping for Thanksgiving dinner to come here soon from our friendly politicians. So make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on new videos coming out. It's completely free to do so. Well, you know how these politicians, it's just literally, they just change their mind all the time. We see it happen all the time. Just like President Trump, one day he's saying, stop negotiations. The next day he's saying, okay, well, let's do some negotiations. And then they're saying they want a small skinny package. Then they're saying they want a large package. Then they're saying, you know, they want checks with more money in them. Well, that's pretty much how Congress goes. And all you really need is everybody to say yes, or not even everybody, just Nancy Pelosi and Mitch McConnell at this point. And we have a deal. We have a stimulus check. We have a stimulus package. And honestly, they change their mind so often. You really just need to catch them on that one day that they say yes. And that day may be coming soon. First, let me start with Mitch McConnell, who is the leader of the Senate Republicans. Just a few days ago, he was saying, well, you know, this big stimulus package that has, you know, pretty much everything that America needs and Americans need, you know, it has these stimulus checks in there. It's unemployment extension. You know, it has this money for schools. It has mortgage and rental assistance for you. You know, well, I just, I think that might be too big of a package for our Republicans. And we might not even vote on it at all, even if they do pass it over in the House. Yeah, you know, I just, I don't, I don't know. Well, since then, the president and the White House have said several times trying to send a psychological message to good old Mitch McConnell. You know, a.k.a. Mitch better have my money with an M, right? That's with an M. <laughs> well, they've been sending these psychological messages to him, kind of hinting at him that saying, you know, we think we have enough Republicans to pass this. Remember, they only need 13 Republican votes in the Senate. Only about 25% of the Republicans have to vote yes, along with the Democrats, to pass this bill. Well, it seems like Mitch McConnell's already changing his tune. And that's why when he initially said that he wasn't going to possibly even vote on this bill in the Senate, it was like, well, I don't know about that. If President Donald Trump endorses this, I think they're going to. Well, he's already starting to change his tune. He went from, well, I don't think we're going to even vote on it, to now he's saying, well, I think my Republicans will go up to $1.8 trillion, but not past that. So this is pretty good news because we went from him saying, well, <laughs> we're not even going to do it. Now he's saying, well, we'll go up to $1.8 trillion. And guess what? That's kind of where the Republicans are at this point. They're at $1.8, $1.88 trillion. The president did say they want to go a little bit higher, but again, they're so close that honestly, if the president stretches it a little bit more to make Nancy happy, and Nancy may need to be made happy before the election. I'll get to that here in a quick second. Mitch McConnell says now they're willing to go up to $1.8 trillion. So honestly, if they're willing to go to 1.8, what's the difference between 1.8 and 1.9? I mean, what's an extra $100 billion here or there, right? I mean, honestly, I think that everybody wants to get a deal done before the election except for some Senate Republicans. Just let's just throw them out the window. You know, the, a lot of the senators are lucky because they only get reelected every six years where the House members get reelected every two years. That's why the House seems a little more desperate, except for Nancy Pelosi, to get a deal done. 
So honestly, we have good news from Mitch McConnell saying he went from basically not supporting it to now saying, well, they'll support up to $1.8 trillion. They go a little bit past that. I mean, I don't think that we're going to be splitting hairs here if the Republicans and the Democrats pass it in the House and the president endorses it. I mean, I don't think they're going to say no with that last little sliver of maybe going a little bit higher than this. Like, okay, we got a package, but we went 5% higher than that. My, you know, my bad, 5% higher. Can you still pass it? I mean, we're splitting the hairs here. If they get all that done on the Democratic side, we're going to have a deal. Now, there's some new commentary coming out, some kind of like wording in the rumor mill that Nancy Pelosi may need to make a deal before the election, even though she doesn't really want to do it to support President Donald Trump. And here's the reason why. After the election, kind of all bets are off. Anything could happen. I mean, the problem is, is literally anything could happen. The Democrats could lose the House. The Republicans could take over. I mean, they only have a slim margin in the House. It's like 10 percent. OK, and then in the Senate, I mean, anybody, the Democrats could take control, the Republicans could take control. But remember, they have that filibuster rule in the Senate that they need 60 votes to pass anything in the Senate. It's unlikely that either the Republicans or the Democrats will have the 60 votes. And then the problem is, if President Trump doesn't get reelected, and of course, if you're Nancy Pelosi, you're thinking, you know, she's the leader of the Democrats. She's thinking, well, the Democrats are going to win. She's a Democrat. Of course, she thinks that they're going to win. So here's the problem with passing a bill after that. She thinks Joe Biden's going to win. If Joe Biden does win, well, the day after the election, President Donald Trump's probably not happy. And what he's probably going to do is he's going to challenge it in the Supreme Court and in the court system and go through that whole process. So the problem is Nancy Pelosi is probably starting to think now because we're starting to see some, some information about this that she might need to pass this stimulus package before the election while the president is still desperate to get this passed before the election. Now, if you read the polls and if you believe the polls and, you know, if you're if you're Nancy Pelosi, of course, you see completely Democratic. Everything you see is just through a Democratic, you know, glass, just like, you know, President Donald Trump sees everything through a Republican glass. OK, she thinks that Joe Biden's it, it ahead by a huge margin. I mean, the last poll said that he was up by 14 percent okay, or one of the last polls. So she thinks he's way ahead. So at this point, she might be thinking that they need to pass this stimulus package before the election because if President Donald Trump does lose, he might not want to do anything with her. OK, he might still we don't know what's going to happen because it's a very dynamic situation. Anything could happen. I mean, he could still try to pass it on his way out because he wants to send a parting gift to Americans to show people that he still cares. He's on his way out. But he did everything he could, and he kind of protects his legacy on the way out to say he wants people to think of, yeah, you know, he was a pretty good president. He passed that stimulus, you know, on his way out after he lost the election. Again, this is just if he loses the election, okay? I'm not saying he's going to win or going to lose. <laughs> of course, I'll get comments from some of you guys saying, you said he was going to lose. You said he was going to win. Guys, I try to keep it down the middle. But if he does lose, this is what Nancy Pelosi thinks, he might not want to do a deal. So now they're starting to say that she might want to do a deal before the election because right now he's desperate to do a deal. He's desperate to get his Republicans to say yes. I mean, basically, if she can, if he can convince her to do it, he's then going to say, OK, Republicans, now's our time. We got to step up. We got to stand strong. We got to come together for the American people. This is it. The last Republican stand before the election. Boom. I think that, honestly, if he gets a deal with Nancy Pelosi, He's going to rally up enough Republicans to get this done. He only needs 13 Republicans in the Senate, 25% of them. That means 75% of them can say no, and they could still pass that in the Senate. If you look at what he's saying, everything they're saying, he's going to have enough to do it. In, in fact, Larry Kudlow said today, White House economic advisor, said that Nancy Pelosi could probably get enough Republicans to vote for it on her own if she tried hard enough. Because remember, they only need 25 percent of them. So if they get Mitch McConnell on board, and I don't know, maybe the president will have to call up Mitch McConnell and give him some sweet deal on the side or guarantee him something or, 
you know, whatever he wants, he'll give him something, you know, you know how politics are, right? They're politicians. President Donald Trump will figure out a way to get 25% of his Republicans to vote yes, if they get Nancy to vote yes. And Nancy might need to vote yes now to get it done before the election, because if Trump loses, which is what she think is going to happen, then they have that lame duck session where they're sitting there for two and a half months until Joe Biden comes in as the new president on January 20th. So she probably doesn't want to wait till 2021. She wants to get it done now. And with that being said, this leads me to Nancy Pelosi's newest letter and shows exactly what she's thinking. Let me show you. Nancy Pelosi says, on May 15th, five months ago today, the House passed the HEROES Act, that's the first HEROES Act, with a $3.4 trillion to meet the needs of the American people for this pandemic and the deep economic recession. Mitch McConnell responded that the state should just go bankrupt and we needed to take a pause. The virus did not take a pause. Today, over 217,000 Americans have tragically died and nearly 8 million have been infected. She says when Senator McConnell was asked in the debate why he was not willing to support more relief legislation, he laughed and continued to laugh. Clearly, neither Mitch McConnell nor President Trump took this pandemic seriously. Again, these are Nancy Pelosi's words from her letter. I'm not leaning one way or another, just showing you her letter. She says now we are engaged in further negotiations on the HEROES Act 2.0. Democrats have re reduced our number one by $1.2 trillion and further by absorbing nearly $400 billion of new obligations in our number. The president has gone from saying to stop negotiating to go big or go home. Democrats will stay at the table for as long as it takes to reach an agreement to honor our heroes and say it with me, crush the virus. You have to say it in Nancy Pelosi's voice, crush the and put money back in the pockets of American people. She says, to our constituents, we promise in bold and in caps, help is on the way. It will be safer, bigger, and better, and it will be retroactive. Retroactive. That's about one of the best words you can hear. She says, we will come to an agreement as soon as possible, but not before we are truly helping the people without accommodating the Republicans' surrender to the virus. She says, today, Secretary Mnuchin said in our negotiations, by the way, they've still been negotiating every single day, that they would accept our provision on testing with minor changes to the language. We are eagerly waiting their proposed language. However, even if this key priority is resolved, many of our disagreements remain. These include, but are not limited to, funding for state and local governments, tax benefits for, for working families. Those are those tax benefits that I covered in the last video where there's actually several thousand dollars of tax benefits that you could receive through this democratic proposal. That's whether you have a child or not, it's actually both. And this could actually provide a couple extra thousand dollars in your pocket through a tax credit. And I actually think that we may end up receiving that and the larger stimulus check for dependents of $1,000 instead of $500, you may actually end up receiving both because of the way negotiations are going. She says, our disagreements are about more than dollars and cents, but hopefully the president's statements to his team to go big or go home and to absolutely accept a larger relief package will translate into results. Updates will continue to be ongoing. Thank you for your leadership. Stay safe. Signed, your favorite person. Nancy Pelosi. Honestly, it seems like they're closer than ever. I know we've said that before, but every single couple days that get closer, they're ironing out this detail, ironing out that detail. They've ironed out the amount for the virus, which is one of the things, you know, she wants to crush the virus. They've The Republicans have gone from $45 billion to $75 billion, which is exactly what the Democrats want. And they're honestly, it seems like they're just working on the wording, the exact wording of what they want, because basically Nancy Pelosi wants her way. This is kind of her way of the highway, because her, she she actually said, I don't remember where she said it in some interview or some article, that she actually has maximum leverage over the Republicans right now. And I kind of think she does. 
I mean, honestly, President Trump's desperate to get stimulus out right now, and Nancy Pelosi knows that she has maximum leverage. The question is, will she pass it before the election or will she try to pass it after the election, which is in about two and a half weeks from now? But the problem is she takes a big risk by doing that because then Trump isn't in office and he might not want to pass it. He might not want to rally the Republicans. They might lose the House. There's all sorts of scenarios that could happen that would actually be worse. Right now, she has a president that's desperate for stimulus and wants to pass it. So she actually might try to pass it here right before the election, thinking that Joe Biden already has a big enough lead that this last little like thing, you know, little in her eyes, won't give him enough of an edge to basically overcome what she thinks is Joe Biden's huge lead. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our extended family, we're going to give you the next clue to what's in the box. If you can guess what's in this box and come up with the correct answer, you'll be entered into the pool of people, which is a small pool of people who have guessed correctly. From there, we will randomly pick two people to receive $125 each directly from me. Or you can receive my course on how to sell products on Amazon. I have dozens of students that have replaced their entire 9 to 5 income selling products on Amazon, which you just do from your home. And my course is currently $8.95. So you have your choice of $125 or the course. I have details for the course down below in the description. And I'll link it to you at the end of this video. And I want to say um, a couple people said they couldn't hear one of the previous clues um, that my wife said. Bad wife. I'm soft spoken. I can't help it. Okay, so which one was it? Um, number four. Okay, clue number four, and here's a little bonus if you missed that video. Clue number four was I can make people famous. Apparently, you couldn't hear the last word, so clue number four was I can make people famous. This is clue number seven. Yes. Go ahead. So, clue number seven is what's in the box can sometimes lose its skin. Sometimes lose its skin? Mm -hmm. Wait, let me listen. Did you hear that? I did. did. Oh, let me know if you heard that. Oh, man. So the clue is, what's in the box can sometimes lose its skin. Mm -hmm. mm. That's a ponderer. So if you want to guess, just leave a comment below. It's that simple. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe so you join our family. We just passed 250,000 subscribers. And I uploaded a bonus video here down at the bottom that you can watch about the presidential debate number two with Joe Biden and Trump. You can watch that next. It's the highlights. This top video is my newest stimulus check video. And this video is about how I teach people how to sell products on Amazon. Click on one of those videos to watch them next. Thanks, and we will see you in, in the, the next, next video. video.